But first, San Patricio County's fight to get more seats on the Port of Corpus Christi Commission all the way up to Austin is where that fight's gone now. That's right, and State Representative J.M. Lozano has filed several bills that would get San Pat County more representation. Currently, the city of Corpus Christi and Nueces County each have three members on the Port Commission. San Patricio has one. Chris Snooks reporter Greg Chandler has been following this story, and he joins us live from outside of the port's downtown headquarters with more on this. Greg? Katia, Representative Vizano says San Patricio County deserves more seats on the Port Commission because that's where the growth is. Lozano's bills represent three options, all designed to get his county more representation. I'd say it's not always the case. Port commissions have been altered throughout the history of the state. Our port in Corpus has been altered uh, many times since it was created by the legislature. Lozano filed three pieces of legislation to get San Patricio County more seats. House Bills 2924, 2925 and 4264. 2924 expands the Port Commission by two members to nine, with three appointments each for Corpus Christi, Nueces County, and San Patricio County. 2925 keeps the commission at seven members, but moves a Nueces County seat to San Patricio County. 4264 is a compromise bill. The commission adds two non-voting commissioners from San Patricio County. Those commissioners would get votes after two years. Lozano says 4264 is the same deal San Patricio County offers for Nueces County. And I was hoping that they would actually reach a compromise. Um, that hasn't happened yet, and I really am still uh, confident that there may be a uh, compromise soon. Last month, the respective county judges called the dispute an argument between population and growth. And if you looked at population, we are adequately represented in Nueces County with our six commissioners and the one in San Patricio. Yes, we're a small county, um, but still, the industry's over here. They're not going into Nueces County. They're coming over here. Lozano believes he'll have the support he needs from colleagues in Austin. They put themselves in our shoes. How would they react if they saw the growth in their county and their constituents wanted an extra voice? Now, part of this procedure includes these bills going to Governor Abbott so that he can notify appropriate, appropriate agencies such as TCEQ. And a port spokesperson told me that officials here won't be commenting on this matter at this time. Katya. All right. Thank you for that. Greg and Lozano has filed a total of six bills related to the port. House Bill 2921 would have the port reviewed by the Sunset Committee. House Bill 2922 has to do with ethics guidelines. And House Bill 2923 would change the port's name to include San Patricio County.